In this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can save an image from a website into the Files app on your Chromebook so that you can have it saved as an image file on your Chromebook that you can then do whatever you want with. A quick disclaimer before we get started, there are technically some legal complications around who actually owns the images on any website and it all gets fairly complicated and Timmy's not a lawyer, but if you're just saving it for personal use, it's probably fine, it's unlikely anyone's going to care. Most of the time, to save an image from a website, you just need to find that image you want to save here. So here's an image on techtimewithtimmy.com, for example, but you could be on Google Images or any website anywhere else. And before you go ahead and save the image, depending on the website, you might want to try and open it up bigger. This doesn't apply on a website like techtimewithtimmy.com, but if we go over to Google Images, for example, all of these images showing here are actually significantly scaled down versions of the real image. So if you just directly saved this image from here, it would end up only being about this size. So if you tried to look at it any bigger than that, it would end up really blurry and pixelated. So what you want to do is you want to try and click on it or something to pull it up bigger. And it's only actually showing it slightly bigger on this side panel here. But it'll show you these numbers here. This is only for Google Images. Other websites will be different. But on Google Images, as you can see here, with these numbers, this is actually a fairly large image. So this is actually showing us the full really large image. It's just showing it to us shrunken down a bit. Whereas that was showing us an actual shrunken version of the image. So if you save this image, as opposed to saving this image, even though they look the same right now, when you actually save it, this one will be much higher quality. So you want to do that. And similar would apply with things like Amazon or shopping websites and other things like that. If you click on it here, it might not be as good a quality as if you click on it and open it up bigger like that or something. So just before you go ahead and save your image, you just want to be conscious of that. You want to try and open up the full size version if you can. And again, on some websites like taketimewithtimmy.com, this is already the full size version of the image, so there's nothing you would open up here, but it's just worth keeping that in mind on some websites. But now, once you've done that, and you're ready to actually go ahead and save your image, what you'll need to do is right click on the image. So position your cursor on top of the image, something like that will be fine. And then if you have a proper mouse that you use with your Chromebook, you can click the right click button here and that will right click. Or if you're using the trackpad on your Chromebook, you'll get two fingers like this and click both fingers down on the trackpad at the same time. And that will do a right click as well. And now it'll pull up this right click menu here. And in this menu, you should have an option that says save image as. So now all you need to do is go ahead and click Save Image As here. And now it'll pull up a Files app window and you can choose the location and name for where you want to save your image. So you could put it in My Files to be on the Chromebook or you could put it in Google Drive to keep it on Google Drive. Timmy's going to go in My Files and maybe inside the Downloads folder there. You could put it wherever you want. And you'll also see the name down here. So you, it might say .jpg or .png or something. You want to keep that, but you can change this name to whatever you want. So you can type any other name you want in here, or you could leave it the default name. And then once you're happy with all of this, all you need to do is click Save here. And now your image will be saved. So now if you go and pull up the Files app, in the app launcher or on the bookshelf down the bottom. And you'll need to go to the location where you saved the image. So 
If you saved it in a different location, you go into that location. But to me, saved it inside my files and then in the downloads folder. So to me, will go in there. And then you should see your saved image somewhere in here. So we have this image saved in here. And that's all there is to it. We now have this image that we've saved from this website. So most of the time now, you're basically done. But with some images on some websites, this method doesn't always work. Or even if it does, it might not be the best option. On some websites, like perhaps Pixabay or Google Photos or something else like that, right clicking on the image and clicking Save Image As, like Tami did before, might work just fine. But there might also be an actual download button somewhere on the website. You might have to click a menu or something to see it. But there might be a download button somewhere on the website that will directly download it. And most of the time, if there is a download button on the website somewhere like this, clicking that download button will give you a much better image quality than if you just right click and then click Save As. So if you can click download on a button somewhere that's actually on the website, to me would recommend doing that instead. And then if we click download on this image and it downloads, you won't get to choose where to save it. It'll just automatically go to your downloads folder, but that's fine. You'll just need to come into my files and then downloads, and then you'll find it in here. And this will be the full perfect quality of the image. And it might even have the metadata on it. So you know the date and time and things that it was taken. So that's a much better way of doing it if you can. And now you can also move it to other locations if you want to. So if you can click the download button somewhere, that's what you want to do. But on some other websites, if you try to right click the image, it might not right click at all, or there might not be a save image as option. Or even if there is, you might click the save as option and it downloads the wrong image or a really bad looking version of the image or something. So sometimes it just doesn't work. And if that happens, there is one last resort option you can use. To me, wouldn't normally recommend this. The quality typically won't be as good as it would be if you saved it properly. And it is a bit more difficult to do this. So you would only do this if you have no other option. But if you have to, you can always take a screenshot of the image. Before you do this, you want to open up the image as big as you possibly can. So a good way to get started with that is to actually click the three dots in the top right hand corner of Chrome. And then click this button here to make Chrome take up the absolute entire of the screen. So you don't even have this bottom bit here, or even the top bit with your tabs and everything here. So you can see it a bit bigger like this. And then depending on the website, you could also click on it to make it bigger. But that doesn't always work. But another thing you could also do is pinch and zoom on the trackpad to zoom into it a bit. So this might be a little bit tricky to do if you're not used to it. But you imagine it like you're zooming in on a phone or something. So you get your two fingers close together and you put them both on the trackpad and then you spread them apart from each other like that. And that should, when you spread them apart, it will go in and you move them closer together, it goes out. So then you can try and zoom in a bit like that to get it as zoomed in as you can. And then you can use two fingers to scroll either side to side or up and down if the image is a bit off the edge. But now, as you can see, this image is taking up almost the entire screen of the Chromebook. So now when we take the screenshot of it, the screenshot will be as good a quality as we can get. And now, once you have your image pulled up as big as you can get it and positioned as well as you can get it, and you're ready to go ahead and take your actual screenshot, you could just take a full screen screenshot and then crop it down. But the best way to do this 
is actually to press the keys control and shift and this rectangle with the two lines next to it there. So press all three of those keys and then you can let go of all of them. And that will bring up this screenshot tool here and it's put it into a mode that will select only a specific area of the screen to take a screenshot of. So you'll see it's actually turned your mouse cursor into this little cross icon here. And now you just need to move that to the one of the corners of the image and then click and drag over it like that. So as you can see, it's putting this box right over the image and once you've done that, you can then click and drag the edges and the corners even to get it just right. But now everything inside this box on the screen will be in the screenshot and everything outside the box will not be in the screenshot. So you wanna get it pretty good there. Doesn't exactly have to be perfect, but that looks pretty good for this purpose. So now once you've lined it all up with the image like that, so that the box is just around the image, you can go ahead and click this capture button in the middle of the image here, and it will capture a screenshot of just that. So now we're still zoomed in and everything, so we can do the same thing as before on the trackpad to zoom back out, if you had done that. And you might also be in full screen mode, so you move the mouse to the top of the screen, and come across and click the three dots and click this button again to take it out of full screen mode. And now you'll even see that a screenshot was taken, this notification here. So now you're done. You've taken a screenshot of your image. So if you once again pull up the Files app and go into the Downloads folder within the My Files section, you should see a screenshot here. And if you open it up, that screenshot should really be just your image. So this might not be as good a quality as it would be if you could just save it properly, but as long as you've pulled it up big enough on your computer, it'll probably look good enough for most purposes. And you could now rename it and move it other places and do whatever you want with it. You now kind of have this image, but that's all there is to it. Those are all the different ways that you can save an image from a website onto your Chromebook. To me, I would really recommend either clicking an actual download button or opening up as big as you can and then clicking save image as. But if you have to, the screenshot option is a good backup option. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and to me, I'll see you in the next one.